a sparse Friday commute and gray, gloomy skylines here. Meteorologist Mary Kay Kleist is here. At least with this chilly weekend, we can settle in on the couch for a long time, Mary Kay. It is a cold one, Erica. And you know, when we left here last night, I got home at about 1130 at night. It was 63 degrees. That was our official high at midnight. We've been falling since then. We've opened the door for a gusty wind out of the north and slightly now northeast. And what that's doing, that cold air rushing over the relatively milder waters of the lake, but that water temperature is 42. That is generating some lakeside flurries and sprinkle chances right through sunset for us. And then we're going to see the clouds just kind of hang on through the night, but it's noticeably colder today. We are at 35 degrees in Waukegan, 36 now in Gary and Rensselaer, 37 in Morris. Winds have been gusty, especially here in northwest Indiana and at Midway and surrounding neighborhoods there. 29 mile per hour gusts, 32 mile per hour gusts in Valparaiso, and 20 mile per hour gusts in Rensselaer. So that has prompted the lakeshore flood warning through the night until 7 a.m. for Porter County and into LaPorte where waves here could easily reach 12 feet. Also, you saw maybe from our live shot those high waves right along the Chicago Lake front there. So central southern Cook County, a lakeshore flood advisory there for 8 to 10 foot waves through the night until 7 a.m. tomorrow. It's just because of that cold rush of air that keeps pouring in behind the front that is now pressing for the eastern seaboard. Cloud deck still hanging with us. Eventually it will erode and will allow for some sunshine for the second half of your Saturday, but it's going to be a little slow to do that. So we're stuck in the clouds. We could be brushed with a flurry or a sprinkle between now and sunset, but yes, the cold air. Now we're on the cold side of the system. Check it out. It's 81 in D.C., 37 behind the front in Chicago, and where the core of the coldest air is, 17 right now in Fargo. So through the evening, this is 6 o'clock, a few flurries or sprinkles may be around with 35 degrees, and through 7 o'clock as the sun goes down, we'll keep clouds around. I think with that flow happening off the lake, we could see a flurry in the morning as well, but very short lived, but it may be around for us. And then finally, as we go through the afternoon, we'll break the cloud deck and bring out the sun. But those temperatures really struggle. We should be at 48 degrees. We're going with 36 tomorrow, but afternoon sun will be a welcome sight. Sunday, a fast moving system is going to turn us cloudy by lunchtime, and then a light rain or snow shower in the afternoon is certainly possible, and we'll have a high of 41 degrees. After that, we return to the 50s as we head into next week, mid and upper 50s here for Wednesday and for Thursday. So any flurries that are around this evening will be short lived or rain sprinkle. And then tomorrow and Sunday, colder than normal for your weekend.